Good afternoon and welcome to Green TV. It's February 11, 2013. Joining me to my right here is Brock Shimano. Well, Brock, let's jump into Fire Tip, see how the grains traded on a Monday. As we can see, we had corn off seven and a quarter cents for the March contract. Soybeans, once again, the leader to the downside off 19 and a half. And we had Chicago and Kansas City wheat both moving lower, double digits here uh, as well. If you guys want to take a free look at the Fire Tip trading platform, visit us over at grainhedge.com. You can take a no obligation demo over there. But Brock, can you kind of break down the action for us, uh, in particular on soybeans here, once again came under some pretty heavy selling pressure. Kind of what's your take on this market? What's going on there? You know, I think a lot of that was technically driven. If we take a look at the, the March soybean daily chart, uh, you can see here that we did end up going below the 200 day moving average, right. which is the red line coming in here. That was right off the open on the Sunday night session. We went down and we actually tested the short term trend line that's coming in that yellow line uh, right there. And that, we're sitting right in that 1425, 1430 area. That's going to be some support for now. If we do end up breaking through that though, I think we'll end up going back down and testing the 1470, or excuse me, 1370 right. to 1380 area, which is kind of the low end of that long range that we've been trading over the last several months. And it's also the long term trend line sitting right there as well. So I do think we have some potential to downside. You know, I think there was some fundamentals driving the markets a little bit lower today. Weather in South yeah. America was one, but you know, to, to start off tonight, uh, last night's session, right. I think technicals are really driving the market. Yeah, you know, we'll get to those fundamentals in just a moment. Let's jump into corn though here real quick on the March contract as well. And as you can see here for corn, uh, really continued selling here in the last several sessions. Uh, and today we weren't able to sell below the $7 per, per bushel price level. But as you can see here on this corn chart, if we're able to trade through $7 a bushel, really, I think the next stop here is going to be the 680. Those were the lows that we printed uh, back here about a month and a half ago. And, and looking at this chart right now, you know, on the heels of Friday's really bearish report for corn, it really looks like corn's a market that's making lower highs and lower lows here. We're just kind of grinding sideways or, or lower into planning. Uh, so right now, I think, you know, $7 is going to be an important price level to watch on the March contract, you know, as it always is when we approach these whole numbers. But if we're able to go through that, I think the 680 even more so is going to be more important. If we print a, no, a new low on this March uh, corn contract, it's really going to have a, a very bearish tone to it. So that's something to keep an eye on. That's kind of technically what we saw in the grains today. Brock, I know this morning we did get export inspections out as well. Kind of break down that report for us. Yeah, we did get export inspections from the USDA today. Uh, what we saw was wheat coming in a little bit above analyst expectations. We saw corn coming in a little bit above, and we saw soybeans missing the mark uh, for the first time in a while. Right. If we take a look here at the, the chart we've been following all mark near long, the green line is what we need to be seeing for weekly exports to meet the current USDA projections. Um, as you can see here, this is the soybean chart we did miss by just a little bit this week. Um, if we take a look at corn, a little bit of a different story. You can see that we did uh, actually almost meet expectations to meet the current USDA expectations uh, of exports leaving the country, right. um, but we did end up falling just a little bit short of that uh, green line here this week. Okay, on Friday we did see the USDA revise their um, projection for export sales of corn in the current marketing year. That was down uh, 50 million bushels there. D does this change our models that we're looking at right now, or, or what's kind of your stance on that? Yeah, you know, the, these new mo these models do take into account the new revisions by right. the USDA. Uh, soybeans was left alone. Corn was revised about 50 million bushels lower. Um, you know, but keep in mind that even with the revisions, corn is still running about 43 million bushels behind pace to even meet that that new number that the USDA had. And we fell another 4 million bushels this week alone. Right. You know, soybeans, different story that we've known all year long. We're well ahead. We're about 208 million bushels ahead there. Uh, but we continue to fall on that pace. We fell another 16 million bushels on that pace this week as well. So right. it looks like soybean exports are starting to slow down a little bit so maybe the USDA you know has it right keeping that number the same this month yeah you know obviously the the amount of beans that the US is going to be exporting here in the coming months is going to be largely uh, dependent on the availability of beans out of South America and it seems like that was kind of a story today that was that was weighing on the bean market in particular if we take a look here uh, these are weather maps for the later part of this week here out of South America and this area that we have circled in red here is the area that people have been concerned about uh, that have been really uh, going through some uh, dry period here recently but as we can see later this week we should be getting some beneficial rains um, for for really Thursday into Friday uh, and into the weekend as well here so the situation down in South America looks to be improving um, a little bit here certainly we'll keep you posted on that on green TV but you know in general Brock I think that's kind of the action that we saw today on a Monday just to keep you guys posted what we have coming down the pipe this week we're gonna have EIA ethanol numbers out on Wednesday export sales on 
on Thursday. And then on Friday, we're going to be getting the uh, NOPA crush numbers as well. Certainly, that's going to be watched closely by the uh, soybean complex after we saw a revision there uh, in Friday's WISE report. So we'll keep you posted on all private analyst expectations coming into those reports. Uh, but I think, like I said, that wraps up the show for today. Thanks a lot for joining us on Green TV. Have a great day.